Do you know you're going in? Right? Do you think? Are you sure? When you close the left. Okay, so. What I love in my academy is to work on building the future of tennis. Spending time on the court with young players with potential and helping them solve their problems and improve. So today I'm working with Amina, a young Moroccan player born in 2007, whose technique is not perfectly adapted to her dominant eye. From what I see, you move really well. Uh, and I know you're a great uh, competitor, so it's already two very good things. But I know there are some things you want to work on. So what is it? When I have the occasion to attack on my friend, I uh, usually take it too close. So we're working on like getting more space and then... You mean too, cl too close laterally? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're working on like having more space to then go for the ball. Okay. And I have like a, a ball on me and I have to go back. I usually play slow, so we're working on like having the same speed all the time. Do you know your dominant eye? I think, I think it's my right, right eye. You think? Or are you sure? No, I think. Okay, we just yeah. verified. So you just point to the M with your finger? Point, point at it like you want to show me the M. Okay. Make you close. One. You moved. With the, when you close the left. Okay, so you are left eye dominant. Okay. Because you, your technique looks like your right eye dominant. When I found out about Amina's dominant eye, I knew we could do a lot more and we could do much better. When you are righty with a left dominant eye, which I didn't know before making the test with her, you can develop a forehand that becomes a big strength. Imagine that instead of hitting the ball like that, you are allowed, and you are, because you're left side dominant, to hit the ball a bit on your side. But look at my shoulders, they're not like that. Otherwise here I'm uncomfortable. But here I'm super comfortable. A bit more here, yeah? Okay, do you feel comfortable like this? Another all, yeah? Okay, this is what we're gonna do. So, I, I show you once again, instead of hitting like that, you're gonna hit on your side, here. So your contact point has to be in between your feet, okay? Instead of being here. Good, again. Yes, again. Okay, perfect. The advantage of being left eye dominant when you're righty is that your contact point can be more inside. So between you, as I said, between your feet. But that means also that you can, you can drive it more. So instead of doing just this, that's what I'm used to doing because you're hitting there, feel the ball, keep the ball longer in the racket and feel it more, okay? The most important thing is that I wanted to be sure that all the way through, she would keep sensation and actually, I thought and my goal was to develop more sensation for her, to feel the ball better. Drive it more, keep it, keep it in the racket. Yes, good, that's good. But you let it go. You try to control it too much. Let it go. Good job. Next step, <laughs> we're gonna prepare earlier. Just focus on one thing. When the ball bounces, your racket accelerates forward. It's not going back, it's too late. So if the ball is too short, you just make one step, but you can make one step like this rather than one step like this and then this, okay? Yeah, as you see that you prepare late <laughs> on this one, go. Amina was preparing her forehand once the ball was bouncing. When you do that, you are in a way victim of the ball. The ball is controlling you. It's gonna, it's gonna feed you a ball. You will go prepare, full preparation, bam, bam, bam. Okay, bam, bam, bam. Immediate. With the sound, like it helped me get in the rhythm, yeah. And uh, it was much better because I was like, it was like pom pom pom. So it was really in the rhythm and it helped me a lot. Pom pom. Okay, wait. Before the ball bounces, you have to have left the racket with your left arm. Yeah. Make sure. Okay, stop. You just look and you tell me if it's what I ask you to do or not. Look at where it bounces. One before. Stop. Yeah, no. Why? Because you think you prepare, but you yes. just do this. Yeah. So it's not a preparation. So what we're going to do, because it's a big change, it's much better already. So you're much less late, but still the ball is, is slow. So when it goes fast, you're going to be in trouble in some. So we're going to start already prepared. So fully prepared. Yeah. Let go, let go, let go, let go. Okay, let go. Hit the ball on the side. Yes, that's the one. Ball bounces, I accelerate. Okay, rather than 
the ball bounces, I go back, I prepare, and then I accelerate because then it's safe, okay? I'm gonna help you on a few. Yes, okay, you do one without me. Go, 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 go. Yes. Go, 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 go. So good, bravo. One motion, shh. Ça, c'est parfait. Perfect, this one. One motion, shh. Yes. Okay, good. Ready? Yes, exactly, one motion. Allez. <laughs> Good. Uh, the beginning, it was uh, so weird, but I understood the point of the exercise because he wanted to help me feel in the preparation early. Yes. Okay, you wanna try without? Allez, let's go. We just did it like four times and it was really good after that. So yes, that's very good. Go faster, fast. Yes, that's perfect. You do this. I exaggerate, but not so much. What I would like you to do is that to let the hand drive completely. Look, 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 look and then your shoulders turn because your hand is driving. Once you hit the ball, you block your shoulder and you just do this. Yes, perfect. Ah, voila. For her to let the racket completely go and finish its course by itself. And when you do that, you find out that your shoulder finishes under your chin. So that was the next step. Again, stop. See how you block your shoulders? Yeah. This was not the purpose, but look. I do good, it looks up. so much better. Yeah. Your body follow the racket, it follows. Ready? And you, you start with the left hand, huh? Ready? <laughs> Allez, go. Perfect. The end is so much better. Because before you were blocking, help yourself with your left hand to really throw the racket back. And let this right arm follow the racket. Follow the racket back, follow the racket arm. Okay? The hand is always deciding. Okay. You have the right grip? Okay. Relax. Okay. Ready? Yeah, look, the arm is, is free. Yes. Okay, what you do is you block it here. So again, tension. Relax. Yeah, completely relax. If the ball flies, it flies. That's perfect. Again. Uh, that's perfect. Again, let it fall. You, yes. you want me to stop my racket, so yes. it was really good after, because I was doing it without even knowing. Start down, start down, start down, uh, yeah, exactly. Ah, oh, yeah, incredible. Incredible. So, but that's the next stage. The ball comes to you. The ball is shorter. So, the operation never changed. Okay, 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 okay. Completely free, completely free, stop. You do this, no. The, the racket is moving, you don't stop the racket. Let's say one here, not too long, first, and one here. Deep, front. Deep, front. She will feel a better control, she will feel more power. So yes, it's a big change. In a month, her forehand should look much different.